Welcome, friends, uh, to this another short presentation on my YouTube channel, Learn with Prakash Nade. This is a presentation on the topic of uh, sensitivity of receiver. So, in this presentation, we will understand what we mean by sensitivity of the radio receiver. This is a topic of communication electronics. And when we study characteristics of the radio receiver, then sensitivity is one of the important characteristics of the radio receiver. Uh, now suppose uh, you have been asked to go to the market and purchase a receiver for you. Question is, uh, how will you decide which receiver is good? The quality of the receiver can be judged by its characteristics. Characteristics such as sensitivity, selectivity, and fidelity of the radio receiver. Any ordinary person, when goes to the market, the shop owner will present before him various models of the radio receiver. Now what, how will you select? You will select a radio receiver basically based on the quality of sound that he received from the radio receiver. But apart from quality of sound, you will find that there are other parameters also that can be used for judging the best receiver. So in this presentation, we will understand one such parameter called as sensitivity. So how do you define sensitivity? Sensitivity, we can simply say it is the ability of the radio receiver to amplify weak input signal. We know that when the signal is transmitted from the transmitter, the signal travels along the ground to reach to the radio receiver. So there are different obstacles in the path of the signal. And because of these different obstacles, the strength of the signal reduces. Also, you will find that when we receive a signal in the radio receiver, there are several other signals are also present in the atmosphere. And these signals are also received by the receiver antenna. As shown in this diagram, suppose this is our wanted signal having a large amplitude. And these are other signals which are present and they are to be called as a noise. And you will find that their amplitude is quite smaller than that of the wanted signal. So when you take this ratio of uh, amplitude of wanted signal to that of noise, then this is what we call as a signal to noise ratio. Or in short form, we call it as an SNR. So the higher the SNR, you will find that it is better that you will receive the wanted signal only and all other noise signals are rejected. So SNR plays important role in determining sensitivity of the radio receiver. We determine the sensitivity of the radio receiver in terms of the voltage. So the voltage that is required to be applied to the receiver input so that we can get some standard output power. So you will find that the sensitivity can be measured practically in laboratory. We can set up some experiment and with the help of this experiment, we can measure the sensitivity of the radio receiver. 
Now suppose uh, we want to measure the sensitivity. Then we need to set up an experiment as shown in this diagram. Observe that here we will require AM signal generator where we will use a modulating signal frequency of 400 hertz and the percentage of modulation is 30 percent. This signal is coupled to the radio receiver for which we are measuring the sensitivity. This signal is coupled through the antenna and the laboratory antenna that is used for coupling of this signal is called as dummy antenna. So dummy antenna is an antenna which has similar characteristics to that of antenna. And at the output, you will find that we will couple a power meter to measure the output power. So we will uh, apply the signal of different frequencies and we will increase the input signal in steps so that we can get the required power at the output. Observe that the measured sensitivity is very small in amplitude and normally it is in microhertz. One micro that will stand for 10 to the power minus 6 or any small figure or any high figure as we know can be expressed in decibels and therefore sensitivity also can be expressed in microvolts or in decibels. So let us understand when we measure the sensitivity how it looks like. This is a slide where we will show the sensitivity curve. Observe the shape of the sensitivity curve. You will find that as we go on increasing the frequency, then the required voltage that, that is needed to be applied to the input to produce a standard output of 50 milliwatt is being recorded. And when these points are joined together, then we will get a curve that is called as the sensitivity curve. You will find that the lowest point in this diagram sh shows the highest sensitivity point because this is the minimum voltage that is required to be applied to the radio receiver to get a standard output. And the highest point in this curve refers to the lowest sensitivity because this is the higher amount of voltage that is required to be applied to the receiver to get a standard output. You will observe that the sensitivity of the radio receiver can be improved and this improvement can be done by proper designing of the RF radio frequency stage and IF intermediate frequency stage of the radio receiver. So if they are properly designed, if uh, their gain is appropriate, then you will find that the sensitivity of the radio receiver will be much higher. That is, we will require to apply a very low amplitude signal to get a good output power. Now, when you go to the market for purchase of the radio receiver, you will find that on the back side of the radio receiver, the sensitivity is being printed by the manufacturer. Now, the lower the sensitivity, that is lower the amount of the voltage that is needed to be applied to the radio receiver to get a standard output is always a good quality radio receiver. Another way to judge the sensitivity of the radio receiver is that the AM station which is far from us is that if you are able to catch the signal of such a radio station and if you are able to hear such a radio station properly in your radio receiver, you can always say that your radio receiver is a sensitive radio receiver. Thank you friends uh, 
for uh, giving this presentation. Uh, I will be attempting uh, some simple concepts in the fields of electronics and computer science uh, through such presentations. Basically, these presentations are prepared as per the syllabus of Swami Ramanand Tirth, Maratwada University, Nanded. Thank you for watching.